hi, my name is Aaron. Uh, some may know me as A.A. Ron. If you refer to me as... Please don't... That's, I'm joking. I'm, I'm going to put this... I want to know if uh, something really freaky has ever happened to you. This one's recording. And Jesus is looking at the crowds here and loving them because they needed someone to meet their needs. You're not going to heaven and going to join God with eternal disappointment. He's not going to be sitting there and in a million years time just be like, be yourself, enjoy Christian life. And by enjoying life as a Christian, people are going to see it as good news. 1 Thessalonians. What is that about? Well, let me tell you. It is the secret to stepping forward as a Christian. Some people would read it and say it's all about the end of the world. I mean, that is mentioned in every chapter, but it's not the reason why it was written. It was written to answer really, a really big question. Now I'm a Christian, what do I do? I put a link to the text of Acts 17 in the description below, and you can find out about how the church in Thessalonica started. Absolute chaos is how it started. Paul preached about Jesus. Some people became Christians, but others, they didn't like it. So they caused a riot and started dragging people around. It was all pretty crazy. But some people became Christians. Some people became the church of Thessalonica. It's into this church that Paul writes this letter to answer the question, how do we now live now we're saved? And to be honest, that's a normal question for anyone, right? If I'm a dancer or I'm a vegan, uh, or I'm a clown, or I'm, a, I'm an animal rights activist. If I wake up in the morning, I'm always going to be asking this question. How do I live? And it's no different with Christianity. We ask the same question. How do we live now that we're Christians? But I think there's two ways to be a Christian. The first one is that you can be the boring one. Now this life uh, is kind of someone who's reluctantly saved. They think church, boring, youth groups, boring, music, boring. Camps and residentials, boring. These type of people really struggle too because they know Christianity is true, but they get tempted by everything else all the time. That sucks. That's one way to be a Christian. But the second way to be a Christian is to get excited about God, is to, get, is to see where God is at work in your life. Those Christians, what they want to do is they want to keep in step with the spirits. These people have much better lives. They show God they can be trustworthy and they want to grow. And so he does that. These are people who are taken to places that they never thought they would go. An example is that this weekend I'm preaching to over 200 people. Who knew that would ever happen? This book is going to help us to be the second person. Now at the end of each video, we're going to have a Steve's challenge. So if you want to do your own response videos to Steve's challenges, then head to the Bible Applied Facebook group and upload them there. Alternatively, tag uh, hashtag the Bible Applied in on Instagram or somewhere else and you can, you'll find us there as well. I've chosen a verse from 1 Thessalonians and mixed up the words. And you'll get some of those words in each video. Uh, and what you need to do at the end of this series is unjumble them and then learn that verse. If you haven't read 1 or 2 Thessalonians before, then why don't you put in the comment section below, hashtag ThessDoThis. <laughs> Finally, please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. By subscribing, you're supporting this channel and letting me know that you are watching. This is going to be an amazing series and I'm really excited. So let's go! Yes! It's bad that I really need a wee. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. No, that's huge! Another Steve's challenge!